how's it going just want to show you the latest updates that I've done over the past week um, they do look easy ones but I did find them quite difficult to get it to do exactly what I wanted but I have added a, a few new things to monitor within the dashboard itself so as you can see on our dashboard display the first thing you, you probably notice is that the smiley faces are no longer yellow I've changed them to go from green to red depending on the criteria for the particular site um, and so I'll just demonstrate that now so we'll set, we'll go to the data in uh, data enter screen which you will be familiar with by now and you'll see if we go down to our incidents list and let's say uh, slip strips and falls for Whitwell let's say we had 24 in the recording in the period of recording change that and 24 has lifted it up to amber but it's gone to red now on the smiley face which is a sad face and it's red so it's no longer the same color as it was on the the version that you will have it will be yellow at uh, yellow uh, what I might do at some stage thinking about it now I might just put make it when that's amber that the face is amber as well um, just just to cover that off um, so that's that feature and we can go again just to prove the point we can go to say Birmingham is is um, uh, let's say 20 28 for Birmingham and go back to that and now Birmingham has changed to amber and a red red face so if we take take them back out go to Whitwell put that back to zero uh, Birmingham and put that back to zero as well and go to the dashboard and they all go back to green everybody's happy so the next thing is you can you'll probably notice that there's a new tab now at the side of the on the traffic lights and they are um, based on the audits I've now highlight on the audits schedule uh, report screen itself you'll see on the audits that we've now got the highest score in sight and the lowest scores so the lowest ones will show up in red in, and in our organisation if it's below 33% which is what I've set the red to then it, it flags up here as site low performance notify management so but we'll go in and uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that so we go up to the audit screens on the data entry screen again and you'll see this is where the audit scores are and you'll get these from your audit that you do whichever you do I for instance use iAuditor so the scores that comes out on the iAuditor um, audit when I've conducted them goes in here so it's a manual entry so if we say uh, let's say we will scored 8 to 7 percent um, Birmingham scored um, 78 percent and the swab site scored 98 percent you'd expect that to be highest being a, being a monitored swap site so then you go back to our dashboard and you'll see now it's saying the site with the lowest audit score is birmingham but it's still in the green zone it's still acceptable but it is the lowest one so if you go to the reports page and we'll go look look onto the um site it's saying birmingham it's got a yellow dot at the side of it now because it's it's the lowest one and it says 78 percent but it's above the 33% uh, trigger for notify management so that site there is blank and it's saying on this one the highest score in site is now Coventry so if you look at Coventry that's 94% uh, but we've actually got swab site there which is 98% and that's because I probably haven't included that because that's an extra site when I was changing it from my actual sites I, ch I took a lot of sites out because there's over there's over 27 sites in ours, so that's left in. So that w that's not being monitored. It's only coming down as far as Coventry, so you can ig ignore the swab site um, for be for being counted. But as you can see from the rest of them, the Coventry site is 78 percent. Sorry, I'm reading it wrong. It's 94 percent. So it shows it on there. And if we go back up. To the data entry and just go back just for grins and giggles and change the um, commentary site uh, Birmingham site which is the lowest let's change that now to 99 
all right so they've done done marvelous go back to the report screen and it's now saying the highest scoring site is birmingham and everything's green so you go to birmingham 99 percent go to the dashboard the site the lowest order is now whitwell so we go to the report screen and look on at whitwell 87 percent and it indeed is the lowest one because we don't forget we're not including that one okay it's included on the scoring but not on the actual link the report stage okay so that's that's where we are with that we've added nothing else at the minute the only other things I've done is just tidy these squares up a little bit um, I did take out the squares altogether um, so that there were no lines but then it did look a little bit difficult to read as to what was re representing what so I'll put the lines back in um, we've still got our speedo chart showing the, the average score it's saying it's 90 percent we go to data entry and the average score is 91.21 percent which is what that needle is showing if we just um, go back to that and just say 10 12 45 that should do it these come down to 52 percent go back to the speedo and it's dropped down to 52 percent the site with the lowest score now is Whitwell and it is below the 33% so it is showing red and that has brought the overall audit status up to amber I've got a little anomaly there which I need to deal with as well ok so we go back to the reports and the two sites below the 33% are Whitwell and Worksop so it's 10 and 12 but Whitwell is indeed the lowest one the highest scoring one is Birmingham and because we've got two low ones we've immediately flagged up red and it says down here site low performance notify management okay so if we now we can go back into that and we've corrected that so we go 87 um, 84 um, 75 Birmingham 91 and leave it at that the overall audit score now is average is 86.2 percent go to the dashboard the needle has gone back up to 82 percent 80 odd percent 85 percent and the site with the lowest audit score is Chesterfield but it is within the acceptable limit so we go back to the score and we're saying Chesterfield is the lowest it's 75 percent and indeed it is the lowest as, as we're, we're ignoring that for the moment but you will just add these in based on your sites site list okay so if we now then go you know, nothing on the on the on these has changed with the exception of the policies and procedures I've now added another tab in which is basically based on the uh, on the risk assessments and cost procedures uh, cost assessments so we've now added them in so we've got total active policies and procedures eight total policies procedures overdue for review because we're at, in, in our company, we're now at that stage where they need to be up to reviewed, and we've not, and because the health and safety department has changed um, it, its staff, we've, it's, the, the previous manager has moved on to another another department, so we've now got a new health and safety manager incumbent, uh, well, head of department, so to say, uh, and a deputy head of department. So we're all getting to grips with everything. Um, so I've not been with the company long either and I am only part time which is why I've been uh, able to work on this in my own time uh, because as you probably know my company is not really interested in this at the moment but there will be don't you worry about that so before we go and have a look at the the cost at uh, the policies and procedures we'll just continue down here and you can see now I've added this section in here to, to put the score the scores were always put in but I've added the little amber and red and green dots in and they're based again on our incidents section here okay, so if you put in a like a red or if you get 12 it will immediately turn red because that is over far too much uh, and we've already discussed how that works in a previous video so that's based um, exactly on that so and it's it's taking its, its information from elsewhere on the screen and it will change that accordingly same as it does on the uh, incidents page okay so then on the incidents if you go down it this is I've done the same thing here I put the, the dots on here the 
similar to the traffic lights system um, but the, because there are low figures it states this even though it's gone red because they're the highest ones the highest ones will always show red so if you go back to our data entry screen um, and we put in a, a ridor let's put it back in at 12 again which it never ever will be and then we go back to our our report screen you'll see that ridor is now 12 and it's now beginning to climb up it's changing color from from a, a green status to 12 so it's now amber and i'm sure if we go in that again and change that to say 45 it's gone red there go on to our reports and it's gone red there as well and because it's the highest one it is flagging red okay with a total of incidents of 57 and because we've done that the Whitwell health and status now has gone to amber on our traffic light status screen okay so that's that's base basically it for that then we go uh, we've, got, we've got our audit schedule that's not changed uh, at the minute it's still the same the task manager that is still the same and the next task uh, screen is the policies and procedures now I've left this next tab open just so you can see where it's getting this information from but when you when you've all done and everything's done you would just right click that and click hide and it would hide that section so that all you'll have is the active screens and not the screens that you get the data from when it's when you've got your system live so these are the procedures and again that's picking them from that screen it's a drop down list as, as, as always better than typing it out make sure that because if you type in it out and you make a spelling mistake and you don't pick it up it won't monitor it on the on the on the various monitoring stages because the spelling is different it'll just it'll just be blank or, or show an error and you'll probably wonder where that error is okay so and it's based on the on the risk assessment uh, status um, and what I've done here, I've took out all the way it was showing um, review overdue, review overdue, because, because it needs a formula to discount blank cells. I haven't done that yet, so all I've done is deleted it to there, but I've just put in a reminder on here to say to drag the formula down as the info is added. Um, so that's just to remind me that it's below them, it's not, it's not formulated, and I've just put them comments in periodically just to remind me. So you'll see here we've got a list of procedures. Uh, the minute we've got the COSH procedure, which is which we're calling it a P2103, procedure 2103, uh, and it's it was created on the 2nd of January 2013, and it was reviewed, the review date was for the 1st of February 2019, so you can see it is very late. Uh, but we have started to review it now, so it's in review. So if we go to our um, report stage, and go to the cost assessments you'll see uh, cost assessment, policies and procedures you'll see that we've got seven that are overdue for review so if you go back to that uh, and have a look we've got um, one two three four five six seven overdue for review uh, and one that is is a new a new relatively new one um, 30th of October the terrorism threat procedure which most companies have now uh, and that's again not due until the 9th of October this year so uh, currently it's active and it's showing uh, not due for review so everything else is, is as it was um, it's been a busy week for me I've worked you know working you know I'm only working two days I do work um, for other companies in between time still doing a bit of consulting for them uh, and then when I get a free couple of hours few hours then I do a bit more work on this okay so everything is, is still the same there <coughs> yeah and, and the other the other thing is I, in our company I, I've done all these cost assessments and they've now decided in their infinite wisdom that they're changing the cost assessment sheet into a different one uh, and because of our ISO status we've got to change I've got to change all them and do them again in a new one which is a bit maddening but hey oh it keeps me in a job so uh, the only other thing is I've just changed the look of the uh, authorized user screen uh, so there's no functionality changes just the the color because uh, eventually I want it to get where you don't see that it's an Excel sheet it just looks like it's a, a piece of software 
but not particularly an Excel sheet so you don't see these squares and everything but that is <coughs> way down the line and, and nothing's changed there either so that's all the same so that's where we are at, at, at the moment with the latest updates as you can see it's showing Whitwell is, is now amber and it's showing a, an, a, a, an unhappy face go back to see why that is and it's probably because we put them we messed about with that and put them in on the Whitwell screen so I'm sure if we change it back now it should change and it's gone back to happy everything has changed and the pie chart has changed accordingly okay so <coughs> if there is anything that you're trying to do with any with, with your dashboard and you're not quite sure how to get it to do it or you've got an idea for something to add as a key metric to monitor um, then by all means drop me a line on me either on the Facebook or a message or reply to the or send me an email on the email address that I sent you the uh, the uh, plant the dashboard to and I'll, I'll look at including it on here uh, because if it's something especially if we get two or three people wanting the same thing then I will definitely do it and put it on and get it to mirror and, ag and again I've, I've had <coughs> from other social media platforms I've had a lot of companies asking me to say we, we're using this can you put our data in it um, because we haven't got time and we will pay you to do that so that is an added but added bonus because initially I set out doing this and it, it was going to be free and it will always remain free however many updates this particular dashboard has it will always be free at the point of use for you guys um, <coughs> but if if I say if you're really pressed for time and you want all your data put in, in onto the dashboard then I will do that but obviously th there'll be a charge for the time um, but what I'll do well if you want the latest version by all means contact me again what I would suggest though is probably wait until we finish doing all the updates and then I can send it over because what I'm conscious of is that you poor guys are going to be putting in downloading the, the, the latest version and then changing all your data again if you haven't got a lot of data then that's probably not a problem but if you're a largest company and you're putting on an awful lot of information in there it's it, it can be mind-numbing the way I suggest you do that though if you're going to go down that route is to open up both dashboards so the, the latest one and the old one um, so they have diff given different titles so you can open them both up and then just cut and paste the details onto the various pages from from your original one that will save you time from all out again okay guys so until next time until you get any if you get any queries or any suggestions to, to stuff to add um, like I said, just, just let me know. But until then, keep safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.